Hello and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the IELTS exam and we're going to be focusing on a very important part of the exam which is the listening. Now a lot of students I think don't really have a problem with the listening. I think personally it is the easiest part of the exam and this is why you need to get high marks in this and again it depends on the student. I know some of you out here might find your, the listening extremely difficult um, and in this video I'm going to be going through some of the traps they use and some of the things and techniques you can use to really boost your marks and maximize your marks in this section of the exam. So if you're sitting the IELTS exam, this is perfect for you. Okay, so let's go, shall we? First thing, well, for listening, practice makes perfect. So do practice tests. Cambridge has lots and lots of practice test books. Use them. Use them. I would say before you sit your IELTS, you should be doing at least two to three practice test books. And especially with a skill like listening, as soon as you've practiced or done five or six tests, you'll, you will become very familiar with the type of questions that they throw at you, the kind of tricks that they use and the kind of mistakes that you make as a student and all of these things are extremely important for you to know. So practice, really straightforward. As with any listening, the best thing you can do, they give you some time to prepare, underline your keywords and try and guess the missing words. So they give you, you know, 20-30 seconds before you start listening use this time to basically do this. So have a look for example. Say this is part of your uh, listening test, probably looks more like a part one. The trip costs something for two weeks. So your keywords there are trip costs and two weeks and you can figure out the gap is, that's right, it's going to be a cost, it's going to be money, dollars, euros, something like this. Something people per group, so underline well, people per group, you can underline all of it actually, or per group, so you're listing out for the words groups, and again, it's going to be a number, 15 people per group, 20 people per group, what? In the summer, you will visit what? So it says here, in the summer, you can visit, so it's going to be a place, castles, lakes, shops, in the winter, doors of something and castles, so winter, and it's going to be castles, so something in castles, mountains and castles, lakes and castles. And you see, by underlining your words, you know which information you're listening out for. And also you're kind of predicting what's coming, which will also really, really help you. Listen carefully to the instructions. Now, this is a big problem with this exam, particularly. In a lot of exams, it's fairly straightforward. You just have to circle the correct answer. In IELTS, they are constantly changing the instructions on you. Maybe you have to write one word, or two words, or three words, or between one and three words. Um, and also listen out, um, like for example, in part one, they'll tell you at the very start, they'll say, the next um, speaker will talk about so and so, please answer questions 1 to 6. Okay, so you know you've got 20 seconds to look at 1 to 6, so you don't need to look 7 to 12 yet. Um, this is a very common mistake as well, because you're sitting there and all of a sudden they start talking about something and you're like, oh no, they keep going, they keep going, there's more, no! So always listen to what answers you're meant to be preparing. Classic mistake in IELTS. As well as this, that's right, they love diagrams. They will always throw diagrams at you, and to be honest, you need to have a good look at it. So say, for example, I was faced with this diagram. Okay, it's a map. First thing I would note is I can see, you know, the north, east, the compass there, showing direction. Um, C, which looks like a river perhaps, or a road, and it's in the middle. Then we have so B in the north, um, A in the west, and D mm, towards the east, I would say. And there's nothing much else 
I, and C obviously is in a very central area. And I would have that in my mind before I even listened to what was coming. And this would help me, you know, when they're giving instructions and things like this, to get the answers right. Like if, for example, they turn around and said, in the north part of the park, there is a lake. And I would say, oh, that's circle B, straight away. So don't panic when you see diagrams. Do spend some time, uh, use your time wisely and prepare like this and try not to freak out. They always look very complicated, but they never actually are. Watch out for traps. Now, they always do this to you, yeah? So once again, let's go back to this example. The trip costs something for two weeks. Yeah, what are they going to do here? They're never going to just say, oh, it's 30 euros for two weeks. What they're going to do is they're going to try and confuse you. So they're going to throw two or three numbers at you. They know you're listening for a number, so they're going to say, oh, for one week it costs uh, 15 euros, for two weeks it costs uh, 50 euros, and also for a month it costs 100 euros. Uh -huh. So there are traps there. Be ready for them. People per group, again, they'll probably say we've got large and small groups or give you options here. In the summer, here they're going to try and confuse you probably between the summer and the winter. And the other thing you can see is they'll say, and the last point here, there's a gap and then castles. I guarantee you they're going to put castles first. So they'll say in the winter, you know, it's really nice because you can see castles and mountains. And people are listening for before castles, and there isn't anything before castles because they've switched the order around <laughs> every time. Be ready for the traps. And once again, if you practice, you'll know what they're going to do to you. You can kind of see them coming after you've done a couple of tests. Okay, so finally, watch your spelling. Especially in part one, if you're spelling names and things like that, a lot of the time they will repeat the names but you, your spelling has to be accurate and it really is a tragedy if you are misspelling words and losing marks like this. And I guarantee it's common for students to lose two to three marks on spelling and it's a shame because they've actually heard the answer. They know what the answer is, they just can't spell it. And again, this comes down to practice and if you misspell a word, you know, write it out ten times, make sure you're not going to make that mistake again because it just costs you simple marks. Practice listening to different accents. Again, YouTube is a wonderful way to do this, or again, just by doing lots of different practice tests. They do use different accents, French accents, Americans, and so you should, you know, be familiar with different accents. And I would generally say um, my biggest tip here is if I were you, especially if you are new to IELTS, go onto YouTube and type in IELTS listening and you will find some fantastic videos there of people who what they've done is they've actually you know got a copy of the test and you can hear the listening as well and you're actually watching them do the test and they are fantastic you can see them underlining you can see them going through the whole thought process following along and these videos will really really help you especially if you're a newbie to IELTS you know they're very very useful and I was amazed when I watched them wonderful idea such a useful resource for IELTS students so just type in you know IELTS listening and you'll have lots of them and you'll be able to see some of them even give commentary as well very very useful videos so I hope this video has been useful remember we also have lots of IELTS resources on our channel there are model answers for bar charts and writing which I know a lot of students struggle with these model answers will be very very useful to point you in the right direction as to how you should approach these questions and what an answer should look like apart from that if you want any help with your speaking please book a private Skype lesson with us we have no problem doing speaking mocks and we'll get your speaking and your band level way higher Thanks very much for watching. That's all for now. Bye.